Imam Jafar Sadiq. A Beacon of Religion and Science Imagine a world where the elements of nature danced at the whims of scholars and philosophers, where the very fabric of the universe was believed to be woven from the simplistic quartet of earth, water, air, and fire. Into this stage stepped Imam Jafar Sadiq, a polymath with a twinkle in his eye and a curiosity that burned brighter than the sun. He didn't just accept the world as it was explained. He probed, questioned, and experimented, challenging the age-old doctrines with a scientific zeal that would put many modern scientists to shame. Born Jafar ibn Muhammad al-Sadiq in Medina in 702 CE, Imam Jafar Sadiq was the son of Imam Muhammad al-Baqir and the great-grandson of Imam Ali Zain al-Abidin. Raised in a time of political turbulence, he directed his energies toward scholarly pursuits, becoming a beacon of knowledge and spirituality. He founded the Jafari School of Jurisprudence, which remains one of the pillars of Shia Islamic thought, and educated many who would go on to shape both Shia and Sunni traditions, including Abu Hanifa and Malik ibn Anas. Imam Jafar Sadiq's critical examination of Aristotle's theory of the four elements was one of his many groundbreaking contributions. Aristotle posited that all matter was composed of earth, water, air, and fire. This theory dominated ancient and medieval scientific thought. But Imam Jafar Sadiq was not one to be constrained by accepted norms. He emphasized empirical observation and experimentation, advocating a scientific approach that was ahead of its time. Through his alchemical experiments, he demonstrated that matter was far more complex than the four-element theory suggested. His insights hinted at the existence of fundamental components beyond earth, water, air, and fire, paving the way for a more nuanced understanding of chemistry. His influence reached later Islamic scholars like Jabir ibn Hayyan, often hailed as the father of chemistry. Jabir's work in chemical processes and the nature of substances built upon the empirical foundation laid by Imam Jafar Sadiq. The shift from alchemy to a systematic scientific study of matter marked a departure from Aristotelian thought, setting the stage for the eventual development of modern chemistry. The integration of philosophical reasoning with empirical science in Imam Jafar Sadiq's approach allowed for a holistic understanding of the natural world, incorporating both material and spiritual dimensions. In the realm of medicine, Imam Jafar Sadiq's contributions were equally profound. He emphasized the importance of diet, hygiene, and preventative care, advocating for a balanced lifestyle. His teachings on the use of herbs and natural remedies demonstrated an advanced understanding of the properties of various plants. His holistic view of disease, which integrated physical, spiritual, and environmental factors, was revolutionary. He believed that disease resulted from an imbalance in the body and stressed the importance of maintaining equilibrium through diet, hygiene, and spiritual well-being. Imam Jafar Sadiq's theological insights provided a robust framework for understanding the core tenets of Shia Islam. He emphasized the concept of Tawheed, the oneness of God, which is central to Islamic theology. His teachings on the nature of God, divine justice, and human free will have deeply influenced Shia thought. He elaborated on the principles of imamate, asserting that the imams are divinely appointed leaders who possess spiritual and temporal authority. This doctrine solidified the theological foundation of the Twelver Shia sect, distinguishing it from other Islamic sects. Imam Jafar Sadiq is renowned for founding the Jafari school of jurisprudence, which remains one of the major legal traditions in Shia Islam. His jurisprudential contributions include the development of comprehensive legal methodologies and principles. He emphasized the importance of reason, EAQL, and consensus, IJMA, in deriving legal rulings, in addition to the Quran and Hadith. 
His approach to jurisprudence was meticulous, taking into account not only the letter of the law but also its spirit and objectives. This led to a more flexible and context-sensitive application of Islamic law. Imam Jafar Sadiq's vast knowledge of hadith, sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, significantly enriched Islamic tradition. He narrated numerous hadiths that form the cornerstone of Shia jurisprudence and theology. His students compiled these hadiths, which are still revered and studied today. His emphasis on the authenticity and integrity of hadith transmission helped preserve the religious teachings and practices of early Islam. Imam Jafar Sadiq's teachings on spirituality and ethics emphasized inner purification and moral excellence. He advocated for a balanced approach to life, integrating spiritual practices with ethical conduct. His insights on taqwa, God consciousness, and ihsan, doing what is beautiful, encouraged Muslims to strive for a higher moral and spiritual standard. He also delved into mystical aspects of Islam, laying the groundwork for later Sufi traditions. His sayings and teachings on the importance of humility, patience, and trust in God continue to resonate with those seeking spiritual growth. Imam Jafar Sadiq engaged in intellectual dialogues with scholars from various religious traditions, including Christians, Jews, and other Islamic sects. His open and respectful approach to these dialogues demonstrated his commitment to seeking truth and understanding. These interactions not only enriched Islamic thought, but also fostered a spirit of intellectual openness and interfaith harmony. His debates and discussions showcased his profound knowledge and his ability to articulate Islamic beliefs in a compelling and reasoned manner. Imam Jafar Sadiq's establishment of an educational institution in Medina attracted students from diverse backgrounds, making it a center of learning and intellectual exchange. His emphasis on education and the dissemination of knowledge helped cultivate a scholarly tradition that valued both religious and secular sciences. His school produced many prominent scholars who would go on to influence Islamic thought and jurisprudence. His inclusive approach to education underscored the importance of knowledge as a means to understand and practice faith more deeply. The legacy of Imam Jafar Sadiq is vast and enduring. His contributions to jurisprudence, theology, and the sciences have left an indelible mark on Islamic thought. His students, many of whom became influential scholars, carried forward his teachings, shaping the intellectual landscape of the Islamic world. The Jafari school of jurisprudence remains a major influence in Shia Islam, and his emphasis on knowledge and education continues to inspire. As we reflect on his life, we are reminded that his death on December 14, 765 CE, in Medina, marked not an end, but the beginning of a legacy that would transcend time. Buried in the revered Janat al-Baqi Cemetery, Imam Jafar Sadiq's spirit lives on in the hearts of those who cherish knowledge and truth. His intellectual contributions challenged the very foundations of accepted thought embodying a quest for understanding that remains as relevant today as it was in his time. In a world where the thirst for knowledge often meets with resistance, Imam Jafar Sadiq's life serves as a testament to the power of inquiry and the courage to challenge the status quo. His legacy is a beacon, guiding us to embrace both the material and spiritual aspects of our existence, urging us to seek balance and understanding in all facets of life. As we delve into the complexities of the universe, may we carry forward the spirit of curiosity and dedication that Imam Jafar Sadiq so passionately embodied, forever lighting our path toward knowledge and enlightenment.